Welcome to another technical corner. We're here again with Rodney at Langley Alloys talking about some more materials. I can't wait. Um, today we're talking about um, an alloy that's it's kind of quite well known. There's lots of applications for it. What is it? So we're going to talk about Alloy 625. It's a really well established alloy. It's been around for 60 years or more. Uh, and when you compare it with other you know, high performance corrosion resistance ones, this one's probably got the widest, the most diverse range of applications. Yeah, absolutely. Diverse applications, but, but, but why is it diverse? Why can we use it in so many applications? Well, um, two main things. I'm sure there's lots of others as well, but the two main ones are when it comes to corrosion resistance, it's right up there. It's certainly about the most corrosion resistant alloy within our portfolio. But in addition, because it's got that very high nickel content, 60% plus, it resists oxidation in high temperatures. So you can use it for sure down at cryogenic sub-zero temperatures, but it will safely be used at eight, 900 degrees centigrade. And maintain, I guess, the mechanical strength that it's still got. It will lose a little bit of strength at those very high temperatures, but what it won't do is oxidize and slowly disappear up the flume. So, yeah. uh, you know, it will retain its integrity, if not quite 100% of its room temperature strength. Brilliant. And we've also covered a 725, which you described that as maybe a big brother. It, that's the easiest way to think of 625 and 725 as brother and sister there. 99% the same in terms of composition. Uh, 625's got this amazing corrosion resistance and temperature operating range, but it's not particularly high strength compared to other alloys. 725 sort of solves that problem if there were a problem, and it gives you all of the great, really outstanding performance of 625, but with that really, really high strength as well for those niche, niche applications. Make sure you check out that video covering Alloy 725, we, we kind of, in the video we talked about it being kind of almost like the best of all worlds in kind of material, like the best material you could probably choose for any kind of product. Um, but back to 625, back to outstanding corrosion resistance you mentioned. It's quite a bold claim. I mean, how do you measure corrosion resistance? There's lots of different ways. I mean, you, you can make it very complicated depending on uh, in which solution, which environment uh, it's actually operating in. But there's a relatively simple way of comparing corrosion resistance of different alloys. One of the uh, uh, measurements that is used is something called PREN. So, um, you know, a big lump of 625 is not going to corrode away over its surface. It's going to fail by pitting corrosion, small pits that will form and then lead to very aggressive corrosion. Um, the ability to resist pitting corrosion is largely, if not completely, uh, determined by the composition, by the recipe. So there's a formula, PREN, pitting resistant equivalent number, and it adds up uh, the, the amount of chromium, the amount of molybdenum, the amount of nitrogen, multiplies that through and it gets you a number. So the PREN number for 625 is 45. What does that mean? Well, Inconel 718 is only 31. And if you take something like 316, a basic stainless steel, it's only 25. So 25, 31, 45, it's right up there. Okay, it's nice you put a number on outstanding so we kind of get a feel for exactly what it can resist. Um, but let's talk about applications now of exactly what this uh, material might be used for. Its list of applications is as, as long a list as you could possibly compile. Um, the two main areas that it's used in are aerospace and then chemical processing, oil and gas. Aerospace, it's got that very high nickel content which gives it uh, resistance to oxidation. It's not going to be affected by the high temperatures. Um, in terms of chemical processing, the fact that you've got uh, all of that expensive alloying content with chrome and molybdenum as well as nickel means that it will resist oxidizing acids, reducing acids, all sorts of other chemicals and seawater and, and, and. So you combine that outstanding corrosion resistance and temperature, it just means that it can be used in so many aggressive, diverse applications. But it's whatever you send down that chemical processing pipe, that valve, that pump, you know it's going to be able to handle it and, pretty and much, not wear down. Pretty much, yeah. It Brilliant. ticks a heck of a lot of boxes, but at a certain price point, for sure. Absolutely. And when you mention aerospace, um, those are high, high temperatures, but not necessarily chemically uh, corrosive. No. Nope. You mentioned the nickel can resist the... Uh, the oxidation. I mean, how important is nickel as, as, an, as a material in, in alloys like this? Nickel's a really sort of important, fundamental alloying element. 
625, it's 60 odd percent nickel. So, you know, it, uh, it really dominates, but it's an expensive raw material. So, you know, the, the alloys will, will be made when they're melted and contain pellets of ferrochrome or nickel or whatever. Uh, and the amount that goes into the pot during production will have a big influence on the cost of the product. Uh, nickel is uh, one of those alloys which is, or one of those elements that's in high demand. It's used in electrical ve vehicle batteries, it's used highly in stainless steel and corrosion resistant alloys, and it's expensive. So ourselves and our customers have become conditioned to looking at uh, the LME, the London Metals Exchange, but these alloys use a lot of energy as well, and that's also had an impact on their, their price. So even though some of those indices have come down, it's not always the easiest to find product and certainly at the right price. Yeah. And how are Langley Alloys helping to try and combat this, this uncertainty? At the end of the day, it's trying to buy from the right people at the right times in the right quantities. And that's our role really to make sure we have sufficient stock for our customers. Brilliant. And if you're worried about market uncertainty, you're concerned about price, availability, the kind of stock you can get hold of in Alloys 65 and a wide range of alloys as well, make sure you get in touch with Langley Alloys. Thank you.